story about Anthony Blinken. Ay, 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 he did not have a good day the other day. And that's thanks to many activists that are part of Code Pink that decided to show up and give Anthony Blinken a piece of their mind. They actually caught him walking into the congressional hearing. So they got mad skills for this one. Shout out to uh, Medea Benjamin says, Butcher of Gaza, Secretary of Genocide, Bloody Blinken, war criminal. This is how we greeted Secretary Blinken as he left this morning's congressional hearing. And I'm going to tell you something else about, um, about his past too when we get to the end of these clips. But check this out. Butcher of Gaza, war criminal, Bloody Blinken. They called him Butcher of Gaza. They called him Secretary of Genocide. Yikes. Anthony Blinken, this is what he's going to be remembered for, guys. This is what, what he will go down for in history. He will be known as Butcher Blinken. Yes, the Secretary of State does bear responsibility when it comes to genocide, uh, particularly since he's totally fine with this. If he's not totally fine with it, he's saying that he is, which is also problematic. There's also this clip here that I want to play as well. This is from uh, Code Pink as well, still on it. Jake Shields said Anthony Blinken was interrupted multiple times today while giving a speech in support of genocide. So uh, it says Blinken disrupted multiple times. Police brutally repressed protesters. The blood of 40,000 people is on his hands. Give him hell. 40,000 people. Let's go ahead. 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 Let's go
Mr. Blinken. The Senate Farm Relations Committee come to order. Pursuing So he's talking about uh, Hind uh, Rajab, right? So that was the little little girl. She was six years old. That was actually the hall uh, that was at Columbia University. They renamed the hall after her. Yeah. The, the person, After the murdering will the Palestine. officer please remove the person who's making these comments? Bloody Blinken. And, and if anyone is speaking, please be removed. So that's the, and they said that woman there was a senior. So let's give it up for, you know, our elders, right? Those that have been activists and a lot of the people that you meet in Code Pink, they've been activists for a long time. It's not something they just started doing. Like when they joined Code Pink, like Medea Benjamin has been, Medea Benjamin has stood in front of tanks. So these people have been actors for a long time, but always make sure we give it up for, you know, the elderly, like the seniors that are out there, like putting themselves on the line like that. Right. Cause they really, cause honestly, when you get to a certain age in your life, you really don't have to do that. And I know a lot of people that have been activists before when they were younger, as they've gotten older, like they just don't want to participate in that anymore. Cause they don't want to risk, you know, harm to their self. Right. Um, and, and a lot of them do not, will not continue to do it once they get a certain age. So we always got to give shout out to the seniors that are still out there, uh, on the front lines. Yes, I do. I need it on this arm right here. It's already bleeding. And don't put them tight because it's going to blood all over your white shirt. Genocide of Lincoln. Genocide of Lincoln. Yeah, the cops are beating people up in there. They're dragging people out by their arms. The people are bleeding in there. I was saying, the People's Republic of China. President's FY25 budget. You know, I love this because every time he tries to speak, they interrupt him. Shame on you. I am very much the work crimes that Anthony Blinken is committing, including the seven mass graves that have been found outside of hospitals, which has historically right. been used as evidence of a genocide. Yeah. So uh, they did the damn thing. They're confronting Anthony Blinken again, just another war criminal. Uh, and there's actually, is this the one I wanted to show? Oh, there's actually another close up one I wanted to show you too, uh, where it says, Blinken, you're a butcher. So you can see close up uh, reaction of Anthony Blinken. Sure. 16,000 kids dead. 16,000 kids dead. You're a butcher. I'm not resisting. Guys, 
there's a criminal. There's a criminal in there. You know, it's interesting. It's true when he says there's a criminal in there. And that's something I wanted to talk about with this video. There is a criminal in there. The police are arresting, uh, you know, the protesters who are not the criminals. The real criminal, the real criminals are the ones in suits. It's the Anthony Blinken. It's Joe Biden. It's Lloyd Austin. It's Matt Miller. It's John Kirby. Those are the real criminals. Those are the people that the police really should lock up. Isn't that interesting? War criminal! 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 Go to hell, Blinken! People are being forced to carry their parents' limbs. It's babies. Committee will suspend the Capitol Police Restore Order. Committee will suspend. Yeah. So uh, very powerful uh, things there. And she's right when she says APAC is, is supporting this, is funding this, et cetera. Um, and I want to go ahead and bring up this part here from Lee Camp because there's something else. He talks about how pathetic uh, Anthony Blinken is when he's forced to answer uh, tough questions, right? Or what he may see, he may deem to be tough questions. So Lee Camp is here. He says the Secretary of State is pathetic trying to answer this question. So watch this. And we've laid out in some detail and why we see uh, the, um, the genocide being perpetrated. Similarly, um, including uh, very recently for the International Court, uh, we uh, had a, an opportunity and uh, others have had an opportunity to make clear uh, why that is simply not the case uh, when it comes to Gaza. <laughs> he, he hasn't said anything. He Literally, the guy said, why do you see genocide with Uyghurs and you don't see genocide with Gazans? And his response was, we laid out why we saw genocide with Uyghurs. And now at the ICJ, we laid out why we don't see genocide with Gaza. That's not an answer. You literally just repeated what he asked you, basically. Of course, Gaza's genocide. And of course, the Uyghurs are not. Like, it is so breathtakingly stupid. Not to mention, uh, when I covered that over a year ago, I actually showed you what the State Department's website said about the Uyghurs. And the State Department actually said that they, they could not... I guess in good faith say that there was a genocide of the Uyghurs based on the evidence uh, that they found. So there's that. So all of these people, these state department people and people like uh, Anthony Blinken, secretary of state that are willing to say that there was a genocide with the Uyghurs, but they won't say that there's a genocide of the Palestinian people. You already know what's up, right? You already know what's up. 
they're willing to admit, they're willing to say, yes, there's a genocide with the Uyghurs because that puts the blame on China and that makes Xi Jinping look bad, which that is their enemy. They see China as China as enemy, but they don't want to say that about the Palestinian people because that would put the responsibility on Israel and they don't want Israel to be their enemy. They want to continue to be allies with Israel. And honestly, if you're a politician in DC, You've already bought into it, whether you didn't want to buy into it, because both of those parties are controlled by the Israeli lobby. So when you have organizations like APAC and J Street and they bought up all these politicians and things like that, you're already a part of it, even though you don't you may not want to be a part of it. What do they think we're children? Don't answer that question. The answer is yes. They think most Americans are children and will believe this garbage. And many Americans do. Uh, yeah. So that was a good point that Lee Camp brought up there about how uh, Anthony Blinken did not know how to answer that question. And there's something else I want to show you about him, too, in reference to foreign policy, because this is a new thing with him. I think a lot of people are just not familiar with uh, his past. So I brought this up from Politico. It said nine things about Anthony Blinken, the next U.S. Uh, Secretary of State. So this is when Joe Biden had uh, chosen him. I want to go down to uh, foreign policy. So let's drop down here. Um, make sure I go to the right one here. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. This part right here of interventionists, you see. You see, Politico wrote this article years ago, but um, we may not have been paying as much attention to it at that point in time. Check this out, folks. Interventionist. In his roles in the NSC under Obama and as Secretary, Deputy Secretary of State, Blinken advocated for more robust U.S. involvement in the Syria conflict. Highlight Syria. And notably broke with his boss, Biden, to support the armed intervention in Libya. He also, he was also a close aide to Biden when the then senator supported the U.S. invasion of Iraq. He continues to believe that diplomacy needs to be supplemented by deterrence and force can be a necessary adjunct to effective diplomacy. So you, you see this? This is who Antony Blinken always was.